Hi, I'm Harish Gurtedi and welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I'm going to talk about a very important feature or service within AWS called AWS Organizations. I'm going to show you how to use AWS Organizations for your small business. One of the uh, reasons for making this video is I have seen so many um, small businesses that are using AWS totally ignoring um, the the foundational um, you know services like AWS organizations control tower uh, right um, creating those landing zones so they totally ignore these services and they just start with um, their workloads in production and development and testing uh, which I which I strongly um, uh, what do you call it I don't agree uh, or I strongly recommend using them uh, using these best practices before you actually start using AWS services for your workloads so I'm gonna show you how AWS organizations uh, what is AWS organizations and how it can help um, you know build a very strong foundation for your AWS infrastructure right so let's dive in so what is AWS Organizations? AWS Organizations is an account management service that enables you to consolidate multiple AWS accounts into an organization that you create and centrally manage. Um, so, I mean, that's that might be plenty for you, but simply it's a centrally, uh, it's a service that can manage all your AWS accounts uh, from a central location, right? So central place. So now the question, the next question that comes is, hey, I'm a small business or I am a startup. Do I really need to use AWS organization? So that's what I wanted to answer here, right? So yes, if you meet any of the following criteria, you have multiple departments using AWS. For example, uh, you have, you know, you have multiple departments and again, you have workloads of different types in multiple departments. For example, you have a finance department or for a, maybe not finance, maybe you have a, uh, a DevOps team who have both their production and testing. Maybe you have a shared IT infrastructure team department. So you have multiple departments using AWS, then yes, start with AWS organizations. Second thing is if you plan to scale your business with multiple offices and teams, um, then definitely you have to start this AWS organizations, uh, implement AWS organizations as the foundation. Uh, you have strong compliance requirements that are, uh, you know, if you have um, strong compliance requirements, you can actually manage them easily and centrally with um, AWS organization. So then also it's a very good option or candidate uh, to use AWS organization service. Finally, uh, you want to reduce time spent by your IT team on managing AWS accounts, you must use this. Uh, that's the challenge though, when you start with, start jumping right into AWS and building your workloads and don't give a thought about laying the foundation, your IT team, whether it is one person, two person, doesn't matter, will have a very hard time uh, in the future to actually manage all those accounts because you may want to set up policies, you may want to, uh, you know, reconfigure the accounts, you may want to enable some services for accounts and disable for others. So there may be multiple requirements and they have to do it on account basis and it gets really complicated. Um, so really, um, you know, AWS organizations can help you uh, significantly reduce your IT team time, right, on managing the AWS infrastructure. So now let's understand AWS organizations pricing. The good news is AWS organizations is free to use. We strongly recommend you use it. Um, and when to use AWS organizations, organizations. So people think like, yeah, let me get start working. Let me build this POC or you know demo, or let me start using it in development, and then we'll think about our no. Um, we recommend starting designing, start designing your AWS organizations before you deploy any workload. So you know the time that you invest, maybe it's eight hours or ten hours or a couple of days or a week or even if a week, it's extremely worthwhile exercise, and and you will. Um, you know, you will feel extremely accomplished uh, once you um, start going after you go live with AWS and you have all these foundation foundational things addressed. So please take time to build and design your uh, AWS organizations before you you deploy your workloads. 
Um, so next thing is here's here's the basic design, right? Here's the basic structure, not the design. Here's the basic structure. You have a root account, right? Every AWS account has a root account. Then you have a management account, right? So where you um, under the root, uh, where who can manage the entire AWS. Then you have the organization units. Organization units are not are are some are the are the foundation uh, for organizations and i'll explain how you can structure them and then you have member accounts under them and then you have policies which i'll explain in the next slide but this is basically the structure root is at the top root is connected to the management account root is connected to the organization units and organization units will have member accounts you can you know it can get complicated with nested ous nested member you know nested ous and each ou having multiple aws accounts so it can get complicated but basically this is what it is right the structure so now i'll show you an example on how this design um, looks so here it is so here you have a root account um, right you have here you have a root account then you have a management account um, under management these are the organizational units which is security so these are core foundational organizational units that we recommend every business have them right so a security um, organization unit will have all the security related services running whether it is collecting security logs audit logs whatever it is all the security related service running in that security organization unit and under that you may have a production and also a test account right uh, test account then you have a shared infrastructure account where you have probably the networking services maybe the shared storage volumes um, you know store uh, shared um, uh, uh, databases uh, may, I mean depending on your business the shared infrastructure organization unit again may have a dev test account and I also have a production account maybe it also has a staging account it can be any any number of accounts right so that's another business uh, organizational unit the third one is workloads this is where you have a staging a production and maybe some individual users deploying workloads as well so these are different accounts but the the core thing is you will have an organization unit with a called workloads finally you have uh, another organization unit called sandbox where all developers are just you know it's not as restrictive as all the other ones uh, right and the sandbox OU uh, really has the developers right, testing the new things playing with new different things right so that's the um, general foundational OUs that we recommend you have and on the right you see policies so the policies um, you know the policies can be applied at three different levels within AWS organizations one you can apply the policies at the management account level or, or, or the root level so that it, it so if you apply a policy here at the manager or root level it applies to everything inside this um, uh, everything under the organization if you apply it at an OU level only that OU and member accounts right or if you apply to the member account only then it is for only the account so you can apply policies uh, we'll talk uh, we'll have an in-depth session on iws uh, organization policies in another video but here pretty much this is how these policies can you know you can apply policies so what are policies for example if you have a policy that you should uh, you know if any ec2 ec2 instance is is running for more than x amount of hours then you know you should get notified or something like that right so our the password policies are the best example so that might be an organization level policy right so the passwords can be uh, should be used you know in a certain way then yeah so the, all the, those kind of policies can be applied at an ou level at a management root account level or at the end so this this really is the um uh, the, the the design so so what are the benefits right so you'll, so you'll get a centralized management of all your aws accounts first thing consolidated billing uh, consolidated billing for all member accounts so you will be able to see a single bill consolidated across all the accounts and then hierarchical grouping of your accounts to meet budgetary security or compliance needs so you can create a hierarchy as required by um by any compliance standards 
Finally, policy is to centralize control over the AWS services and AP actions that each account can access. That's what I was explaining. You can centralize those policies, apply it to OUs, apply it to accounts, apply it to um, the entire organization the way you chose it, right? So that's um, really the, the, those are some of the benefits, but you know, as, as you start using them, you'll know it is extremely beneficial for the time you, the amount of time you invest in designing it because the the return is huge so let's um do a quick i'll just quickly go over the aws organizations so that you get an idea so here you go um so aws accounts so my organizations are loading as you see these are, this is a rooked account this is the management account so then you have the security right um security um, OU, shared infrastructure OU, the workloads OU, and the sandbox OU, right? So these are the different, um, you know, the different OUs that we have. The, the good part is you can directly add if you want more. You don't have to go into sign up and do all that stuff. If all you have to do is add AWS account and just create an account over here and, and with, a, with a valid email address and add a tag and it, it creates for you. That's the real beauty of these organizations. Generally, if you want to create an AWS account, you'll say, hey, sign up now, create the account name, account ID, give the business information, you know, you do a lot of stuff, right? So you don't have to do any of these things. You can just create it from here. If you already have accounts, then you can invite those accounts with that email address, right? So um, that we'll see in another video, but here, this is the easiest way to create an account inside the organization. So this is the hierarchical view. This is the list view of the same, right? So you have the same, uh, same thing. Um, so that's that's really about the the basics of AWS organizations and how critical it is to lay a good foundation for your business uh, in terms of using AWS. I hope this video is useful. Subscribe to this channel because I'm just gonna start sharing a lot of content on how AWS can help your business. And uh, yeah, just go ahead and subscribe to it and thanks for watching.